This video is sponsored by Avail. With the driver demand at an all-time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. everyone welcome to my channel my name is Luke thank you very much for watching do appreciate it can we make the light can we make it can we make it Ugh, we can't really make it but there's not a lot of room hopefully people can get past us I was gonna try and make that but why have cars parked there look? hopefully these lorries up in front can get past me because I yeah don't have a lot of room anyway how are we doing we all all right we're good good to hear we are in uh london we're just sort of south of wimbledon we've got to go deliver to a garden center morden garden center to be precise i think it's morden i think it's morden yeah morden hall garden center so that's where we are that's where we are in morden which is kind of near wimbledon so for those of you who don't know where morden is um yes how you doing uh different scenery today as you can see we are in a brand new Actros, Mercedes Actros, mirrorless. Um, <clears throat> I love this truck, man. <laughs> I really want one. Really, 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 really want one. Um, I'm not going to get one. Not, not with um, my current employer, anyway. Unlikely. Um, we got a couple of new Ivecos coming in November. Um, who knows? Maybe, maybe they do buy some Mercedes. Who knows? But I, I doubt it. I, <laughs> but if I can when I do eventually get my own truck, assuming I still do, um, I will endeavour to have a mirrorless Mercedes because I do like them. Give away to the car. I like the Scania's as well, but you do tend to pay a, a price for Scania's, I think, so Mercedes are a little bit cheaper. And as a new business, which I will be, I'll be much more likely to be able to get a Mercedes Actros mirrorless who knows? I might not even get that. Who knows? We'll have to see. But that's the aim anyway. In a couple of years, I'm going to try and get my own truck and run my own business. But for now, we are here at Harry and Sons in this mirrorless Mercedes Actros. It's a demo truck, so I'm only driving it for the next three days. But I'm hoping to get two videos out of it at least. So this right here is one vlog, and hopefully we can do another vlog as well. And then we get my truck back, my DAF. It is going to be fixed, and then uh, we are just waiting for it to be to be done. It is the ECU, as expected, for those of you who want to know what's wrong with it. I do get asked, where is it? When will I be back in it? Uh, today, I mean, it's currently the 9th of February. Um, so my truck broke down, like, two weeks ago, I think. Yeah, no, this is the second week. So last week, yeah, two weeks ago. <laughs> broke down two weeks ago. Uh, or it will be two weeks ago, but when I, when I get it back. So it would have been off the road. It's been about one and a half weeks right now. So yeah, just looking forward to getting it back and getting in it, but I do like this truck. Uh, I will show you around it a bit more for those of you who have not seen it. I was very lucky to have been invited to drive one of the first ones coming out that came out in, I think it was 2019. So like a good three years ago, I drove one for the first time. Um, that was when I was working for JK Transport. For those of you who have followed me for a while, you will know who JK Transport are. But, um, but yeah. It's all good, it's all good, it's all gravy. Now, in terms of time, we are running quite a bit late. Um, <clears throat> I woke up a little bit late this morning, not gonna lie, and then also new trucks, so I had to move stuff into it. Then I needed to get fuel. So, th so things have just, you know, gone a bit pear-shaped. I was supposed to be here for eight o'clock. It's, it's currently five past nine, <laughs> but we're only five minutes away. We should be here in a second. Uh, last time I come here, their, their gates, one of them was closed and you need both of them open to get in. I also need to get, it's a dual carriageway and I need to get in the right hand side lane to make the left turn. And it's one of those turnings where you're committed, you're in the right lane committed, you're indicating left, you're checking your mirrors, you go to turn and then you see the gate shut. You're like, oh, what do we do? Last time I had to quickly jump out, open the gate 
and um, then go back on, in again. But what, whilst I was doing that, I had uh, vehicles beeping their horn behind me. So we shall see if that's the case again today. We'll have to wait and see. Um, can we get around it? We'll see if we can get around it in a second. It looks quite busy. Lots of cars coming the other way. Ah, bus is moving. Look, look at this. Good, 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 good. Right, so plan for day is tip at this garden centre, which will be there in a few minutes. Uh, from there, we're going to Tilbury Docks, getting reloaded with wood, I believe. Um, although I'm a little bit confused on where I go, but we'll we'll figure it out. I think I've got to go one place first, then to another place, so I'm not entirely sure. But we'll figure it out. That's going to Oxford, I think. So hopefully we can get the Oxford off today, and then I think it's back to the yard. I think, I think. We'll see. I do have uh, night out gear with me. It's all on the passenger side at the moment. It's rather messy down there. Well, I've just bunged it all in. That's the problem when you move trucks. It's just all in bags. So I don't know if you can see, but I've got bags up on the bunk with all my, my essentials in, my clothes if I need any, toothpaste, toothbrush, that sort of thing. So, um, yeah, we are good for a night out if needed. All right. Let's get past these buses. Lights can hopefully stay green. Mind the pedestrians crossing the roads. We're just scouting ahead. What's that person doing in the middle there? Just watch her as we go past. Make sure she's safe. Okie dokie. Right, we want to turn right at this roundabout. It's a bit of a nightmare of a roundabout, this. It's very busy. Right, we should be able to go. Say thank you to the bus. You slowed the draft down for me. Lovely jubbly. Right. It's going to get awkward now. We've got loads of cars on the right-hand side lane. I do need to get over within the next sort of 200 yards. There we go. Starting to get in right. This black car's letting me go. That's nice. Right. So it's this left turn here, but we need to take it nice and wide. Hopefully the gate's open. It is. Lovely. In we go. Oh, bit of a bump. In we go. Think what we're going to do, uh, we're going to go left and reverse back. There we go. Well, this is going to be a first time reversing for a while. I do love the Mercedes because it's like so clear and the mirrors move with you. I think we'll just wait here for a second. We'll go see someone and then uh, hopefully we can get to it quite quickly. <laughs> right, we're here, that's the main thing. Let's go get, Let's go see someone. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, here we are then. This is the Actros, which I'll be driving for the next three days. Yeah, three days I'll be driving it. So I just wanted to show you the actual camera at the top there. For those of you who've not actually seen one, that's the camera. And inside the truck, if I just climb up. And then inside the truck, you get that there, look. It's right on the A-frame pillar. So you can see the forklift driver taking the load off. And it's the same on the other side as well. And it's quite light out now. Obviously it's daylight. And you can really see the cameras or the, the screens very clearly, very clearly. 
They're awesome. And when you're actually in the in the lorry, you can't actually see the cameras. They're actually like up there. But where you're sat, over here, this is my head height. You can't see them. You've got to go up, uh, under, and then look up. And they fold in as well, like traditional mirrors. So you can fold them in like that. And obviously, on the camera, it looks like that then. Or you can uh, put it back out. Yeah, get some thumbs up from me. There we go, thumbs up. <laughs> anyway, enough about the truck for now. Let's just talk about what we're delivering. So we've got 22 pallets being taken off. We've taken all the straps off. He's just done the other side now. That's what's coming off. So we pop over there. And then they come round here and take these remaining six off. But yeah, I do like the truck. I think if I had my own truck, I think I want to go for like an orange scheme. I'd have the wheels black. I'd have like an orange colour cab. And then my name in black. Like really bold colours. I think that's what I'd go for anyway. Right, we're done. Let's get that engine on. And is it going to do the level control by itself? I think it has. I shall press the level control button just in case. No, I don't think it's done the level control yet. Level. Level. Okay, we're going to the set. <laughs> we're just going to go into the settings, operation, uh, lift and axle, lift axle up. There we go. Level control. Level. Okay, I think that's now doing it. I think. Yep, that's done. Yep, level control was activated. <laughs> I'm just gonna have a little play a sec. Yeah, because that's going up. That's going down. That's leveling. Right, we're level. Let's put this steering wheel where I want it. Let's get on out of here. <clears throat> what I'll do is I'll show you the left hand turn on the GoPro, hopefully, because you'll see the camera disappear, or the, the trailer would disappear, but it won't disappear because the camera will track it. There we go, so you can see the camera on the left side, look. And the camera's actually moving to keep track of the trailer. There we go, we're out, we're around it. Lovely. We just gotta get out of here now. We've got to take up all four lanes. Anyone gonna let me out? Yeah, van's letting me out now. We say thank you with a horn. We've got horns on this one. Uh, hey! <laughs> hey! We got some air horns, baby! <laughs> okay, so we are now heading to Portby Docks. Not Portby Docks, Tilby Docks, that's the one. We're not going to Portby Docks. Bloody hell. It's uh, slightly out of the way, that. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go to Tilby Docks now and. Uh, Go figure out where we've got to go, who we've got to see. I think we've got to go to one berth first, see someone, and then go to another berth to be loaded. I'm not sure. But we will figure it out. And I will see you when we get closer to Tilbury Docks. See you in a bit. Right, Tilbury is just in front. We are going to head on in. We've got to go to 46A and we're going to report to somebody at Tilbury Logistics first. <sighs> I'm going to have a little rant. I've just had a phone call from Honda who've still got my car. They've had a four weeks now nearly they've sent the cylinder head off to be pressure tested because the cylinder head upon inspection there wasn't any damage but it needs to be pressure tested so they've sent it off to a specialist to be pressure tested and it turns out this specialist doesn't have the right equipment to do the pressure test so now I've got to pay 700 quid for them to get the right equipment it's just winding me up now <laughs> I've, I've been a bit naughty. I've actually phoned this company up. They've sent it to you. I've figured out who it is. 
I was told, I said, yeah, I think you, I believe you've got a type R cylinder head, uh, but you haven't got the right plate for it. Is that correct? Does it ring any bells? Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> anyway, apparently it's going to cost them like 1,500 quid to make it. And uh, they're billing Honda 700 quid. And then Honda are billing me 700 quid. I'm just, I'm a little bit annoyed because like I've, I've sent the car to Honda to be fixed because I would have thought they had all the right equipment ready to go. I shouldn't be paying for, for stuff to be made. Do you know what I mean? Especially on a 2015 Honda Civic Type R, their own car that they sell, like they, anything needed to fix it, they should already have, I think, on hand or contacts that already have it. I just feel like they're cutting corners and I'm not happy. So, Fish Brothers and Honda. You've, uh, you've annoyed me a little bit, not gonna lie. Anyway, Tilbury Docks, here we go. I'm, uh, I'm trying to be as efficient as efficient as possible in this in this truck. Like, use engine brake all the time, rather than the foot brake. I have used the foot brake, but I'm trying not to. See how efficient we can be. Right, let's turn right here. It's all clear. Let's make sure we can get in before committing. I was like. Uh, back end would be stuck out on the road. We don't want that. So we're going to go to 46A, which is Tilbury Logistics. Normally we go there first to get loaded with paved stone. We've got to go see someone and book in. And then, apparently, it's with Forest Products. Now, I've been loaded with Forest Products a few times. And there's, like, one place there, one place right down the other end of the docks. So I'm not sure why i got to go right first. But that's what I've been told to do, so that's what I'm going to do. So, I don't know, man. It just seemed a bit pointless doing that because we just got to spin round and now we've got to go somewhere else, as, as I thought we would. Forklift driver's asking me if I need to go see him. Ah, so, apparently we've got to go to Travis Perkins. There's a Travis Perkins store here, but which way in we go, we do not know. Spin it round. This truck spins around so quick, so easy. Awesome. So, we're seeing a sec when we get there, but we've got to, we've got to go over the roundabout, straight over, straight over the roundabout, and then turn right. But I don't know which right we take. He's saying it used to be one, but it could be the other now. And if it's the other one, then it's one that I've taken before for forest products. And you park on the left, but he says something about going around. So we're literally just going to be <laughs> we're just driving around and just trying to find someone now. I don't know who I've got to speak to. Got to give him the reference number that I've given him there. So it's like, why, why do I have to go there then? Do you know what I mean? But do what we're told. Uh, so if we're getting loaded from a Travis Perkins storage, one would assume it's going to Travis Perkins in Oxford. I've been to both of them in Oxford as well, so I know, I know where they both are, which is good. Shift gear with Jack Richards. Get a shift on, mate. <laughs> Going a bit slow here. Yeah? Right, straight over the roundabout. Why is the truck park right there? Gonna have to go on the curb to get past him. So he said, go up here and then potentially turn right. no idea. Is that truck waiting to go in there? I don't know. Up and around, there's a stay bar there, so I think I'll probably wait behind the stay bar until I know for sure where we're going. We're going to have to, I think we're going to park here and go for a little walk, see if we can find someone. See if we can find anyone. Oh, 
Right. So I've just undone the curtain buckles. I haven't actually undone the curtain, just the buckles themselves. Uh, so then when we do go in, it's just a case of undoing the curtain poles and, and moving it back. Slow bars in front is just gone. So we're just gonna pull forward enough so we can see inside. Is there enough room for us? No. So just wait here for a sec until stay bars move and then we can go on in as well. What I like about the Mercedes is you can adjust the steering wheel, go all the way up. So good. Right, so we're in the right place. Buckles are undone. Once we get in, we can just uh, undo the curtains and uh, go from there. Happy days. I've got to keep remembering because there's no because there's no gear st uh, stick or lever here. It's on the dash, on the uh, on the st stalk. Sorry, I've got to keep remembering to leave it in neutral. There we go. And I've got to remember to take it off a brake. Why does it keep going to brake? It's so annoying. Are we on brake? No, we're not on brake. We're on overwork. Actually, actually, we can have a break because we're not doing anything now, so we'll have. I'll have a 15 minute break. Hey! Right, see you in a bit. Ah, we walked up at a good time because there's someone not only behind us but someone behind him as well. Um, so yeah, we walked up at a good time. One thing um, I have noticed is after a few seconds, these mirrors turn off. Oh, not really like the mirrors, screens, they turn off. Um, a little bit annoying because I like to be nosy and see what's behind me. If I'm honest, I'm, like, I'm totally honest person, I never lie. Or to say stuff for good reasons only like um it is a bit annoying that they turn off but obviously if they stay on all the time then um you gotta lose your battery ain't you but yeah all you gotta do is open the door and they turn back on again so i'll show you in a second when they do when they do turn back off just want to give a quick shout out to the essential new truckers handbook by malcolm green it is a book absolutely rammed with information regarding anything HGV related. How to hitch up to a trailer uh, and also how to even get your HGV license in the first place. Everything that you need to know is in this book. I promise you, you won't regret it. Link is in the description down below if you are interested. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Anyway, enjoy the video. This is, uh, this is all we have on this one. It's just 10 packs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Nice easy load. Okay, so you, uh, to go to Oxford, just got to close the curtains now. Right, it was a bit of a palaver. We've had to strap up over here, then find somewhere to park. There was no room here, so I had to park up down here, then walk somewhere else and get some paperwork. I'm back here again to give the paperwork in, get a gate pass. Now I'm walking back to the truck again. <laughs> so uh, just doing a bit of walking. In fact, this truck here is actually parking up right behind me. So let's get in the truck and let's get a move on, make it to Oxford, hopefully before they shut. Right. Let's get everything organised. That can go over there. Hoodie off, not hoodie, high vis off. I can go down there. Yeah, it's a bit of a palaver. Oxford Sandy Lane, cool, but I know where that is. Lorry's going past. Uh, we've got a gate pass for the gate, obviously. Good to go, Luke. Let's put those keys in that pocket instead. I'm a bit more comfortable. Cool, right, now we're good to go. Hazards off. One thing I will say about this Mercedes, it's not the easiest to get in. Um, not for me anyway. I seem to scrape my legs on the, on the front of the seat, which scratches a little bit. It's a bit sharp. I can't, I can't remember if it's just this or whether it was with all of them, but I don't know. As you get in, it's just sort of a bit plasticky on the base of the seat and it sort of scratches your legs. I'm wearing shorts, just sort of scratches your legs. In fact, it has actually cut me. So, never mind. What are you doing, mate? You've pulled out and you want to turn right and you're blocking the whole thing up.
uh, Travis Perkins has just pulled out, turned right, and blocked the whole thing up. I don't understand. Some people are stupid. Right. So the good news is we should be there for about 25 to 3. So way before 4 o'clock. So uh, they should take the delivery. Also, we've had a break on, on site here. Uh, so we've cleared our driving time. We were waiting quite a while to get in and get out. Time now is half past 12, so. Cheers. Didn't actually say anything. Right, let's get out of here. Clear to the right. Lovely, let's get on over. Right, yes, yeah, so because we've only got 10 packs on, it's not that heavy of a load. It's all right. It's heavy-ish, but it's not like mega heavy. It could have all gone on the base of the bed and then stack one, but um, it's just easier to just do it like that. If it was a full load and this was like the second delivery, it'd be like that anyway, so. Um, yeah, it's on the front of the trailer. So I don't think it's gonna be overloading the axles too much. It, well, it shouldn't be overloading them at all, but. You know, there's a small chance it is, but it shouldn't. <laughs> but anyway, let's crack on to Oxford. We're going to be there in two hours. Uh, let's get this off. See you in a bit. Okay, we are in Oxford. We're, uh, well, we're about three miles away from where we need to be, uh, but we're getting closer. We are nearly there, nearly there. Now, a bit of good news. Um, well, as well as good news and bad news. I was hoping that this would be the last video I make with these GoPros, this one and, and this one, because um, I've just upgraded my GoPros to GoPro Hero 10, 10s, which are on their way. And they should have been here today, time of filming, but I've just got an email saying they're being delivered tomorrow, which means I'm not gonna get it until the end of tomorrow, obviously, you know, assuming I'm home. Um, so I was, ho <laughs> I was hoping to, uh, to get the new GoPros and to do a bit of filming with them in this truck, but I don't think that's gonna happen unless I bring them to work on Friday. We'll have to see, but that's that's assuming I'm home. So this isn't going to be, and that's one of the reasons why I've upgraded. That probably just rumbled like hell. You probably just really shook around. And on the new 10s, fingers crossed, that's never going to happen because they got hyper smooth on them or something. So like, yeah, it shouldn't that shouldn't happen. That's the plan, just to try and make it look a bit more professional, bit bit more profesh, bit more profesh. Anyway, so yeah, we've been driving for two hours. I've gone to the tachograph. Um, just remember, I got like because on this truck. It's a lot more modern than what I drive, obviously. You can get all the taco information up on the screen, whereas you can't get it up on my DAF. You can get them up on newer DAFs, but not my DAF. There's no information on, on the screen at all. Wow, well, there is, but no taco information. Right, engine brake is on, level one. We shall switch to level two, because we need to slow down. Level three. And indicate to the left. We'll go back to level one. Lovely. Round this corner. Engine break off. Okay, Travis Perkins is just here on the right-hand side. Look, do we have any trucks waiting to get in? This is the quest one. Nah, it's all good. They got one of their own trucks in. With a bit of luck, we'll be letting straight away. We've just got to turn around first. It's good. So yeah, we just spin around, and then we just wait here on the right-hand side. It's what we, uh, what we used to do. I'm going to assume it's the same. So we go left or right, doesn't really matter. Let's go right and then we shall reverse back and come back out again. Hazards on. Wow, 
we're good. Lovely jubbly. And then we'll just go forward. We'll leave the hazards on actually. And then just park up here on the left hand side look. They might get me straight in actually if I just wait here a sec. It looks like they bring one of their own out. And brake on. And brake on. There we go, so I'll just turn you a little bit so you can see a bit. Is he going to ask me what I got on? How's it going, mate? Yeah, not bad. Got 10 packs of wood for you. What? Yeah, just 10 packs. Nice and easy. Yeah? But pull the top of the yard, I'll find one of them. Send them out to you, mate. Lovely. Cheers, mate. As it's off, indicate right, because we've got a van looking like he wants to come down. Lovely. So he said put it up to the top of the yard. I'm going to assume it's just here. We used to go right around the corner, but yeah, there's not enough room up there. We just park somewhere up here with enough room either side. I can see a couple of forklifters down there. We shall stay here. Is that a handbrake on? Yeah, handbrake on. It's electric handbrake. Yes, I know. Neutral. Yes, I keep forgetting. And shush. <laughs> it's electric handbrake. It's just like my car. Uh, my new one. Takes a bit of getting used to. Right. Ugh, I suppose we better put the old high vis on. All right, let's go get this off. That is the only thing with the actresses. The um, side logger up here is a lot higher up than most trucks. Like, I mean, well, I'm six foot three. And like, it's above my head, so I mean, six foot three. If you're like five foot something, you're down here, you can't really look up. And it goes, goes quite far. I can't even reach all the way to the back. Like I said, I'm six foot three and I cannot reach all the way to the back. Here we go. Can't reach. If there is something all the way back there, and I'm six foot three, yeah, I wouldn't be able to get it. I'd have to get like a step ladder or something to climb up. That's my only uh, real thing about it, really. It could do have been a bit lower, but never mind. Anyway, we are fully unstrapped. So we've got five this side to come off, five the other side to come off as well. And uh, once they're off, we can get going. The bloke did actually just come up to me and he goes, um, who told you to come in? And then he saw me and goes, oh, Luke, how you doing, mate? <laughs> That's quite funny. He, uh, he recognised me because obviously I've been here before, like I said, uh, quite a few times. Uh, he knows I do YouTube. And I told him something that, like, years ago, mine, it was like two or three years ago, I told him something about my daughter and he remembered. Nothing bad, like, she, she wanted to do a YouTube channel herself, like, do, like, box openings and stuff. And he remembered it. I was like, how's your daughter's YouTube channel? She's still doing the box openings. And that's just like, took me by surprise that like, someone would remember after so many years, but they do. Anyway, it is still hit or miss with this place. Like, they're quite busy. There's any, well, they're not busy. They're quite quiet, but just seems to, seems to take a while, but it is what it is. Nothing's changed there. Okay, uh, one more left to come off and then we're done. I just closed the other curtain up, but uh, I've now got to do the ratchets up, so I'm going to do that now. <laughs> also, it has been mentioned that uh, oh, you need to look after your health. You can clearly see you've had a nosebleed. Yeah, I've just had another one, that nostril. I suffer from nosebleed. My nose has been cauterized two times, but if I just nudge it slightly, it bleeds. And I've just, I've just done that. I just wiped my nose like that, and it started bleeding ever so slightly. So, don't worry, I'm not dying. Just suffer from nosebleeds all my life. 
Okay, and we are currently getting loaded. Just in the yard now. I do like that. It's lit up. You can see when you get a bit closer, but it's lit up. Oh, I think it looks awesome. It looks sexy as. But yeah, we're currently now getting loaded. So uh, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to check out my merchandise. Link is in the description down below. Until next time, drive safe. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.